Hi, I'm Abby Castro, and I'm a developer evangelist at Swirled Labs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and run your own Hedera local network. By the end of the video, you will have created a transaction and queried your own local mirror node. Start by going to the Hedera local node repository on GitHub and cloning the project. Open a terminal, type in git clone, and paste the link. Then go into the project's directory. Once in, we're ready to start the network up, and we could do that by running docker compose up-d. This will configure and start up the necessary docker containers. Now that you've got the network up and running, the next step is setting up your client. We need the client in order to be able to interact with your local network. Here you can see that we have some of the modules from the Hashgraph SDK. We're using the JavaScript SDK. In order to start, we're going to create the local client. First, we create an object called node, where the key is your local network's IP address and port. The value is going to be the consensus um, node account ID. And here you see that it's three. We then construct our client, passing in our node object in order to set the custom consensus network. We use the local mirror node's IP address and port to set a custom mirror node network. This concludes creating our client. Now we can set the account that will pay for transactions and queries when using the client. You'll need the account ID and its private key. Both can be found in the video description for easy copying and pasting. We use set operator to set the account with ID 0.0.2 .0 and its private key as the paying account. Remember to not post your private keys in any public areas. This account ID and private key are provided for development and testing purposes only. It's time to submit a transaction. The transaction will be used to create a new account. We will use account create transaction and set the key using account 0.0.2's private key. We'll set the initial amount to transfer to this new account to 1hbar using the set initial balance method. Execute the request using the client. Next, we'll get the receipt from our new account using the get receipt method and pass in the client. From the receipt, you can get the new account ID. Let's print out the new account ID for debugging purposes. Now we'll execute our script in the Visual Studio Code terminal. You'll see the new account ID printout if it ran successfully. Congratulations, you just started up your own Hedera local network, created a client, and submitted a transaction. The last step is to view the executed transaction by querying your local mirror node. I prefer to use curl, but feel free to use any other means as well. If queried successfully, you'll see your transaction as the output. You can tear down the local network using docker compose down, and you can also reset it to its original state by adding the last two commands. If you'd like a written form of this video, check out how to set up your own Hedera local network using Docker. Thank you, and happy building.